Title IX, Private Sector Preparedness, Section 901, Private Sector Preparedness, A and, A and General Title V, the Homeland Security Act of 2002, 60 United States Accord, Code 311, Attempt Sequence is amended in Section 409 for further amendment, ed adding the ending of the following. Section 523, Guidance and Recommendations, A and the General Consistent with the Responsibilities and Authorities in their law as the day is the date of enactment of the section, the administration of the sec Assistant Secretary Infrastructure Protection and consultant with the private sector may develop guidance and recommendations and identify with best practice to assist to foster action, action of the private se by the private sector in one, identifying the potential hazards, assessing in risk and impacts. Two, mitigation of the impact, wide variety of hazards, including weapons of mass destruction. Three, managing necessary em emergency preparedness response resources. Four, developing multi-aid multi agreements. Five, developing maintaining emergency preparedness response plans associated with operational procedures. Six, developing conducting training and exercises to support evaluating emergency preparedness response plans operational procedures. Seven, developing and conducting training programs for security guard to implement emergency preparedness responding plans and operational procedures. Eight, developing procedures to respond to requests information from the media and the public. In, in, will be the ensuring issuance and promotion of any guidance or recommendation developed by best practice identified under subsection A and shall be one, issued by the administrator. Two, promoted by the secretary of the private sector. C, the small business concern developing in the guidance recommendation identifying the be best product practices subsection a and ad administrating the Im assistant secretary infrastructure shall uh, i'm sorry sub in developing guidance and recommendations to identify the best sec practices under subsection a the administrator and the assistant secretary of the infrastructure protection shall in consideration small business concerns under the meaning of giving in the term term of section three small business in action 15 united states code 632 involving any d need to separate guidance for recommendations best practices as necessary and appropriate d rules of construction nothing in section may be construed or sub supersede or any requirement any established under the any of the provisions of law any uh, under any of these Established under any pr other pr provisions of the law. Section 524, the Voluntary Private Sector Preparedness Act Accreditation Certification Program. Well, A, the establishment. One, in general, the Secretary acting as the officer designated under the paragraph 2 shall establish implementation of Voluntary Private Sector Preparedness Accreditation Certification Program in accordance with the Section 2, the designation of the officer. The Secretary shall designate the Officer Responsibility Accreditation Certification Program under the Section shall so officers here and here, here and after they refer to the section that were as designated officers shall be one of the following and a the following shall be made shall be based on consideration expertise administration emergency management preparedness of the United States and two responsibility of the administrator the principal advisor of the principal for all matters relating to the emergency management in the United States be the assistant secretary infrastructure protection based in coordination of the expertise assistant secretary in responsibility one protections critical infrastructure two the risk of assessment mythology three the interacting private sector on the issues of described causes one and two see the under secretary of science technology based on the coordinates Considerization expertise in the undersecretary and responsibility associated with the court standards. Three, the coordination in the carrier and the air accreditation and certification program under the section of designated officers shall coordinate A, the officer of the department referred to in paragraph two using the expertise responsibility for such officers. B, the special assistant for the secretary of the private sector based on the consideration of the expertise as a special assistant and responsibility for the interacting of the private sector. The volunteer. B, the Voluntary Private Sector Preparedness Standard Voluntary Accreditation Certification Program of the Private Sector. The deadline at one, the accreditation the certification program is not later than 210 days after the date of enactment and implementation recommendations of the 9-11 Commission Act of 2007. Designation officers shall A, be in support of the development, updating necessary voluntary preparedness standards through appropriate organization coordinated with the facilities development and voluntary con uh, consensus and the standardized voluntary consensus standard of development and organizations and B, in consultant with the representatives appropriate organization coordination facilitate development and on use of voluntary consensus standards and appropriate voluntary consensus standards developing organization and each private sector advisory council created and under section 12, 102 f 4 um, appropriate representative state and local governments including emergency management officials appropriate private sector advisory groups such as and sector coordinated councils in information sharing analysis one in development and promo Promote the program to certify the preparedness of the private sector in the United 
Private sector entities and volunteers chose to seek certification under the program to implement programs under subsection through the entity designated officer entering the program under the subparagraph 3A, which will accreditate three third parties to carry out the certification under the section 2, the program elements A, when general, 1, in the program, the program develops an implementation of the subsection shall assess the pro whether a private sector and entity complies with the volunteer preparedness to the guideline of the developing program subsection designated offer to develop guidelines accreditation certification process established in the subsection B the standards is designated officer consultant with the representatives of appropriated organization with a coordination facilitated development and use of volunteer consensus standards representatives of appropriate volunteer consensus standards development and organization to each private sector advisory council also created under section 1025 sorry 102F5 um, 102F4 appropriate representative of state, local, and government, including emergency management, official or appropriate private sector advisory group, groups such as the Sector Coordinating Council Information Sharing Analysis Center. I shall adapt one, shall adapt one or more appropriate voluntary prepared standards for the promoted and preparedness within tailored to address the unique nature of various sectors of the private sector necessary necessary appropriate that they shall be accreditation certification program with a program under sub subsection after the adoption of one or more standards under the clauses may adopt the additional voluntary preparedness standard modified discontinued use of voluntary prepared standards standards of the voluntary standards of accreditation certification program is necessary appropriate program Remote preparedness. See the sub subject submission of recommendations and adoption with one or more standards under subparagraph B. The designated officer may be rec receive recommendations from one of the entities described in subparagraph A or subparagraph relating to appropriate voluntary preparedness standards, including appropriate sector or specific standards for the appropriation and program. D. The small business concerned the designation officer and any designated officer enters an agreement on agreement of the paragraph 3A and shall establish the separate clarification methods of certification for small business and under this meaning of given the term the section 3 of the small business act 15 the United States code 632 the program of the section e considerization developing implementation program under subsection design designated officer one consideration on unique various sectors private sector including preparedness standards business community standards best practices established one under the provisions of federal law Two, by any other st sector specific agency as defined under the Homeland Security Presidential Directive 7, and two, coordinate the program appropriate with one and the Department of Private Sector related to the program, two, preparedness business, continue program, continue, continue, continue to, to the programs of the federal agency, three, the accreditation and certification process is A, and the deadline A agreement in general no later than 210 days after the enactment and implementation of recommendations of 9 11 and Commission Act of 2007 designated. Officers shall enter one or more in agreements of highly qualified non governmental entities in the spirit and expertise and coordination facilities, development of voluntary consensus and standards managing implementation, accreditation, certification program, voluntary consensus, similarly qualified prior to or prior private sector secretary and needs to carry out the accreditation, oversee the declared certification under the subsection and it needs and entering agreement and designation over over the officers under the Clause here and there uh, here referred to in this section selected by the entity shall not perform certification under the section. Two, the selected entity shall manage may manage the accreditation oversight the certification process in accordance with the program established under the subsection accredited qualified third parties to carry out the certification established under the subsection B the qu requirements of the accreditation and certification. One, and there's an end qual and then selected in an entity qual collaborate developed procedures requirements for the accreditation certified process under the subsection act accordance with the paragraph established under the subsection A subsection guidelines developed under sub paragraph 2A4 sorry 2A2 I mean 2A2 two contents of use of procedures requirements developed under the clause one shall one ensure respond responsibility and uniform ability in any co of accreditation certification process if there is more than one selected entity. Two, if used in selected entity conducting accreditation overseeing certification processes under the section of section three disagreement disagreement among selected entities developing procedures under the clause one should be resolved and designated officer C designated so the selected entity shall be accredited any qualified third party to carry out the certification process under the subsection disadvantages business in, in involvement in the accreditation qualified third parties to carry out the certification process under the subsection shall be entities to shall and ensure the extent practicability of third parties including the qualified small minority woman owned and dis owned disadvantaged businesses concerned with appropriate this term disadvantaged businesses concerned with small businesses disadvantaged 
this own and controlled advice of a socially, economically disadvantaged the individuals as defined as 124 and Title 13 United States Code Federal Regulations, treatment treatment of other certifications at the request of the entity seeking tra seeking certification, any site any entity may be considered appropriate other relevant certifications accorded by the entity seeking certification if the selected determines that the such certifications are cert efficient to make certain requirements or at the certification requirement under the section selected to entity may given an credit to a seeking certification appropriate to avoid unnecessary duplication certification requirements. Uh, five third parties in accredited subparagraph C, the third party shall one demonstrate third party has the ability to certify the private sector and entities accordance with the procedures requirements developed under subparagraph B. Two, the agreement of perform, perform certification in accordance with procedures and requirements. Three, the agreement had not been the agreement not to have been beneficial interest or any direct or indirect control over one private sector's entities for which the third party conducts the certification under subsection A or su sorry, subsection or one or two, a organization provides preparedness consulting service private sectors and entities for the degrees that have uh, other conflict interests to respect private sectors and entities for which the third party conducts a certification in this sub subsection five. Maintain liability insurance can recover to policy limits in accordance with the requirements developed under subparagraph B and six. And the agreement with was selected and accredited in third party to pri priority information private sector at any obtained by the subsection G, the monitoring in general, the designated officers, any selected in any shell res regularly monitored inspection and operation, any third or conducting out certification under the subsection to ensure the third party comply with the procedural requirements established subparagraph B and all other applicable requirements. To the revocation of the designated officer, any other entities determined the third party is not meeting the procedure requirements established under the subparagraph B selected entities, and one revokes the accreditation of a third party that includes the certification under the subsection A. And two, the review of certification conducted with the third party is necessary, appropriate for an annual review. And in general, the designated officer and consultant will represent the appropriate organization coordinated facilities to the develop of use of volunteer consensus standards, appropriate volunteer consensus standards, development organization, appropriate representatives of local governments and include emergency management officials in each private sector advisory councils created under section 102 F4 shall annually re review voluntary accreditation certification program established in subsection D to ensure the effectiveness of such a program, including operation management of such important program in selected entities, selected entities, including qualified disadvantaged businesses concerned of paragraph 3D, and to make improvements and adjustments to the program is necessary as an, appro an appropriate review of standards. Each review under the subparagraph shall include as a voluntary preparedness standards standards used as in the program under the subsection. Voluntary participation certification under the subsection volunteer for any private sector entity. Six, public listing designated Officers shall maintain, make that, make public listing of private sectors that need certified as main may compliance with the program established under subsection. If the private sector in any consists of, to such as listing rules of construction, nothing in the section may be construed. But one requirement to replace the preparedness emergency response business continuity standard requirement in the best standard, best practices established. A under the provision of federal law, be in sector specific agency and, and define a Homeland Security Presidential Directive 7. Expection in any pri private sector entity seeking certification, meeting certification requirements under the section. Be the form of compliance with applicable statutes, regulations, directives, policies, industries, codes, and practices. Pr report of the Congress is no later than 210 days after the enactment of the, the Secretary shall submit to the Com a Committee of Homeland Security and Government Affairs to the Senate. Committee of the Homeland Security and of the Committee of Home Transportation Infrastructure House of Representatives in reporting detail. Any a any action taken in the implementation of 524B of this Homeland Security Act of 2002 is ended is is added by a subsection A, including exclusion A, so the method of classification certification small businesses concerning under the meaning of given the term on subsect in section three of sub business act of 15 United States Code 632 is compared to the private sector or entities and B, whether there is separate classification methods methods to cer certification on small business concerns are likely to ensure that the such ma measures are not too over, not too burdensome or adequate to meet the voluntary prepared standard standard adaptness but under the section 524 of the Homeland Security Act of 2002 as added by subsection A in this day and this is the date of the report of the implementation of the subsection 4 
See the de the deadline of designation officer um, six United States Code three two one M. The, uh, the Secretary of Homeland Security shall designate the officer added in the section sections five twenty four Homeland Security Act of two thousand two added by the subsection A not later than thirty days after the date of the enactment of the, uh, enactment of this act. Um, D, the definition of Section 2 of the Homeland Security Act of 2002-16, United States Code 101, is amended to by adding at the end of the following 18th, the voluntary preparedness standard, means of common set primary criteria of preparedness, disaster management, emergency management, business continuity programs, and emergency national institute, national fire protection standards of disaster and emergency management, business continuity programs, and NSSI, ANS, uh, ANS, I and NFPA 16 clerical amendments to table of contents of section 1B of such acts is further amended by the end of the following section 523 guidance letter rec recommendations 524 volunteer private sector preparedness accreditation and certification programs I F the appropriate authorization and appropriations there are authorized appropriated see it such sums as necessary to carry out the section amendments made by this section Section 902, the responsibility of private sector offices of the department is in general the Section 102 of the Homeland Security Act of 2002, Section of the United States Code 112 F, and is amended and de 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 redesignated in 8 and 10, para eight and par paragraphs 8 through 10, and paragraphs 9 through 11, respectively, inserting paragraph 7 to the following, providing information for the private sector regarding the prepared standardness for business pr justification preparedness, promoting private sector adopting for voluntary preparedness standard. Private Sector Announce Advisor Council Section Area 102 F4 of the Homeland Security Act of 2002, 6 United States Code 112 F4 is amended. In subparagraph A, the striking and, and at the end, in subparagraph B, and inserting at the end, in the semicolon, uh, semicolon at the end. And three, by ending the following advisory to Council Secretary of the Private Secretary, uh, advisory of the Secretary on the Private Sector Preparedness issue of the affected message. One, promote voluntary prepared standardness of the private sector. Two, is uh, existing private sector adopting voluntary prepared standards. Title 10, improving critical infrastructure security.